Hey there, this is John from MySolarHome.us and this latest video, it's about buying solar panels for your home and calculating how many panels you need. I promise you this is a short video, but it's going to be worth your time. I'll show you a really easy way to calculate how many panels you actually need for your home. It's going to be super accurate and there is no way in hell a solar salesman is ever going to be able to come by and either sell you more or less panels you will be the master of your calculation. It is really easy. Watch till the end of this video. Promise you it's going to be worth your while. So start with some basics. When you're doing solar, you're obviously buying solar panels and solar panels are rated. Like you buy an REC 350 watt panel, an LG 360 watt or a Silfab 370 watt. So all these panels have a rating. 350, 360, 330, 320, etc. Now, this rating is like the speed of your car. Now, how much energy they produce is the distance. Now, how much power they produce depends on how long they're out in the sun. Now, I'm from Jersey. So in Jersey, uh, if you have a 300 watt panel, in a day, it produces about 1200 watt hours. The same panel if we're in California because they get more sunlight, there's more hours of light it produced maybe 1600 watt hours of power. So those two things are different. 300 watts, the 300 watt panel producing 1600 watt hours of power the whole day. How is that important to us? It's what the energy companies look at. When they send you a bill every month, they send you how much power have you used? They send you in a figure known as kilowatt hours. We used 300 kilowatt hours this month, 400 the last month. Over a year, a standard US home, single family home, uses anywhere between 6,000 kilowatt hours to 15, 20,000 kilowatt hours, depending on the size of your home. That figure is important. You can, it's usually there in your bill, or if you don't know what it is, call your electric company and ask them, how much power did I use the whole of last year? And they'll give you your figure. Now, some of you may be asking that, hey, if I'm buying a panel which is a 300 watt panel, how does it just produce 1,200 watt hours the whole day? And the answer lies in the fact that that 300 watt hours is in what are known as standard test conditions. Uh, the best of the best. 1000 watt hours per meter squared of sunlight radiation coming in at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit and something known as an air mass of 1.5. In real life, you get those conditions, but for very little. So maybe in a whole day, you might get 20 minutes or, or 30 minutes in Jersey of that kind of sunlight. The rest of the day, the panel will be producing 350, maybe three, uh, sorry, 250, 230, 210. So if you just let it be on your roof the whole day. The other thing, of course, I forgot is that the panels become really hot on your roof. You know, uh, if the outside temperature is 70, your panel temperature on your roof is good 25, 30 degrees higher. So it'll be at 100 on your roof. If it's a hot day, it'll be at 120, 130. The hotter the panels become, the less power they produce. Yeah, now good. Cold days are the best. So, you know, paradoxically speaking, if in the winter in Jersey, you have a nice sun, your panels are actually producing more power than in a much sunnier day in summer. Yep, things like that happen. But so how does, you know, how does this help you find out how many panels you need? Very, very simple. Let me pick up my Hardy calculator, okay? You know my password now. All right, so look at your bill. Let's say you have usage of in a year. Look at your usage for the year. Let's say you have usage of 10,000 kilowatt hours. It's always in kilowatt hours usage. So 10,000 kilowatt hours, put that into your calculator. If you're in Jersey, divide that by 1.2. 1.2. And then to find out how many panels you need, first you got to decide which panels are you buying. Let's say you're buying an LG. 370 watt panel. Then you divide that by the 370 watt of the LG 370. And bingo, you come to 22.52. That means for your size of electric bill, you need 23 panels. Okay, you can't have 22.5 panels. Easy? Easy? All right. Let's say you moved now and you moved from Jersey, you moved to, to Nevada much more sunny there. Nevada, the factor is 1.6. So the same 10,000 kilowatts, so your 
you're still consuming the same amount of power. But instead of dividing by 1.2, you would divide by 1.6. And then you would divide by the number of watts of your panel. Remember, it's a 370 watt panel from LG. And bingo, you just need 17 panels in Nevada to produce the same amount of power. So if your solar guy, solar company tells you that you need 20 panels or you need 14 panels, ask them how did they come to that calculation. This is a ballpark calculation, but it is super accurate. It's not something they can, you know, brush by the side. Pretty good calculation. This based on figures that the the Enrel lab from the government of the United States based on those figures. So, what kind of what's the what's the the factor you use for different states? For the northeastern states, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, and Massachusetts, and up to Vermont, etc. 1.2 is the factor you can use. Okay. If you want to be super accurate, you know, it might be 1.21, 1.19, etc. But 1.2 is a good factor to use. North Carolina, South Carolina, 1.3 is the factor to use. Georgia, 1.4. Florida and California, 1.5. Arizona and Nevada, 1.6. So there you have it. If you want to know how many panels you need, all you need to know are how many kilowatt hours you're using in a year, the factor that I told you here, and the simple math. Let's do it one final time. Let's say you're in Massachusetts and you have a home which produces just six, which uses just 6,000 kilowatt hours of power a year. And the salesman has asked you and he said that, look, buy these REC panels. They're like 320 watts each. They're really good. And he says you need 15 panels. You'll say, hey, wait a minute, let me find out what this is. Remember, Northeast factor is 1.2, 6,000 divided by 1.2 and divide by the panel wattage. REC, let's say it was a 320 watt panel, then I divided by 320. And bingo, we need 15.625 panels or 16 panels. If he says 17 or he says 15, stick with it, it's fine. So look out for big differences. One panel here and there doesn't make a difference. So that's the easy way of calculating how many solar panels you need in your home based on your electric bill. There is another video on my channel where we talk about how do you make sure you get a good price for your solar panels. They are all over the place. There are companies who come to sell you solar, same system, they'll sell you for 30,000 and there'll be another company that'll sell it to you for 20,000. You don't want to be the doofus who buys the 30,000. There's a video on my channel about price per watt. It's again, really simple. Once you've got the number of panels, it becomes easy to calculate the price of your video and the price of your solar and what you should be paying. Do watch that video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it. Help something in my channel go viral. I'd appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.